This is the Wave Pulse Animator, new module by Barton Musical Circuits. Uh, this is a wave shaper module that kind of works like a PWM, uh, except for other waveforms. Uh, it's got input and output for the audio, and then two CV inputs that get attenuated here. And these two controls control how much of it is getting turned off in the positive and negative half of the waveform. Uh, and let me uh, move the camera over to the oscilloscope so it's easier to see what it actually does. Uh, so here you can see it's a ramp that's getting turned off a little bit in the middle. Uh, and I'm going to turn up the high control so more of the top half is getting cut off until eventually all of it is. And uh, I'm going to turn it all the way down and at that point they should overlap and you'll get positive uh, offset here instead of the negative offset there. Uh, and I'm going to turn the sound on so you can hear that and then I'm going to turn an LFO on. Uh, so you can hear it with some modulation. Here's a triangle with instead of a ramp. And a sine, which the sine wave is a little smaller, so it's cutting off easier, so I'm gonna adjust the controls. back to ramp. And I'm going to put it through a VCA before the input. Uh, and that clicking is from, it's switching from the positive offset to the negative offset, because uh, the controls are turning so far down right now. Uh, if I turn that one control up a little bit, it'll, that'll go away. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I, I've I've been experimenting with this a bunch. Uh, it's something that uh, you can also put a a, a resonant uh, filter in front of, or uh, you can use it with a square wave if you're doing a low pass filter before that. Um, it uh, is uh, it's an interesting thing that I, I've been enjoying messing around with, and it's a pretty simple build. Uh, it's one quad op amp and six transistors, and then just some resistors and a couple of caps. Um, so yeah, thank you.